let's work on the body. So for the UVs on the body, let's go ahead and I'm just going to do a quick auto map really quick so we can kind of get a starting point. And then I want to create different islands for all of the stuff that's flesh versus the stuff that's uh, jumpsuit or uh, sash. Okay. This will make things in Substance Painter a little bit easier because we can very quickly mask materials based on different UV shells. And so anything that like the claws will all be separate and so forth. And so I'm going to come in here and just cut along the sash. And so I'll do a cut there. We can take the sash, select the interior of it, pop it over to the middle there cut that and keep stitching it together. Okay. And remember we're only working with half of the geometry. So I'll sew all of that together. Go ahead and add those on there. You can unfold it. And the back will want to cut, cut across as well. So that's going to be right there. And then that should work. So that, and then unfold that. All right. So that gives us a shell that's going to be this sort of satin material. And it's very easy then to mask things off in Substance Painter. If we look up here, you can see we can go ahead and cut out the shoulder bit. And if we just drag across there and deselect anything on the arm, you can see we can very quickly, because it's an isolated area, we can very quickly just stitch everything together. Go ahead and unfold that. And now we've got that piece for the shoulder. And you can define your cuts in your 3D space as well. So for instance, if you see in your 3D space where you want your seams to be, you can go in here, select those, and then do a cut. And now you've got your edges cut the way you want them to, to be. All right, let's go ahead also and cut off the toes. So we wanna cut at the base of the toes. So I'll just double click to select those and cut. Some of those you may need to continue on and then we'll pull the toes off, pull that toe off. And then we can start to figure out, okay, I know I don't want the seam to be in here, or I know I don't want the seam to be on the top, so I'll stitch those together, unfold that, unfold. We're still getting a little bit of the toe in there, so we need to make sure to cut right there. And then this one as well. Looks like that's the culprit. And then we can start to just stitch all of this together. Again, just a combination of using stitch, sew, and unfold. And then we'll do an unfold. Let's rotate it. I don't like to have it at an angle like that. And then this is all going to kind of get sewn together. And a lot of times I won't even look for where that other piece of the shell is, and I'll just and I hope it pops in there, and a lot of times it does. You can see when I sewed that time, I can see that that's another piece. And so I'll do stitch instead. But the good thing is we only have to do one leg. Here I've got a piece that's on the other side of the same shell, so I'll just cut it and then sew it over there. That's going to be, again, part of the toe, the claw. So I'll go ahead and cut that off. Get all those claw pieces kind of together. Let's go ahead and you can see right now we have some seams in here. I actually want to move them over kind of the, this side. So I'm going to select you know, some geometry in here. And let's just select it all the way up. And I'm going to cut that off. Move it over to the other side. You can see I have a hole there now. So go ahead and cut that. So 
So that gives us a seam along one side, not the other. If you wanted to come in and create a seam like right down the middle of the back, we could do that. Move this smaller piece back over there. And then the claw, each of the claws we can take and start to stitch those together. This will be the top and the sides. And then you just want to figure out where you want the seam to go. Let's cut that and bring it over to this side. Go ahead and add all these pieces in. That's going to be the other toe. So here we got one claw. And the other one, I'll go and attach the top to it. And it's going to be over here. And kind of just keep going all the way around. So that gives us two shells for the toes and then a shell for the leg going up all the way to the pants. For the leg on the pants, we can go ahead now and take this, stitch the inside of it together. And I want to make sure that the seam is kind of on the inside here. So I will select the edges on the interior, go ahead and cut those and then move this over to the other side. Just to organize the seam a little bit better. So this should be the portion that is between the leg and the sash. down and connect all these Again, just make the seam consistent all the way around this will be that last little bit of the pants here all right so we've got leg we've got claws we've got pants we've got the top part of the body, the sash. So we still have quite a bit to do, but let's go ahead and cut it off right here. Let's take a little break and come back in in the next clip and finish up the body.